Hello and welcome back, my Enchanted Glitter Witches. Today, I wanted to share with you this beautiful table and new addition to the witchy room. <laughs> now, I'm not sure what I'm gonna call this, the witch's table, the witch's something, I don't know. Let me know your suggestions in the comments, but I've been wanting to create a space in my witchy room that feels very communal and feels open because my practice has really been expanding to my family, my wife and my daughter over the years and particularly over the past few months have been showing a lot of interest in the craft. And I really have always wanted this center table in the witchy room that I can just sit at and mix and, you know, make magic happen. So much of what I do at the altar is really where, you know, the magic is exalted for me and where I honor and work with deity and praise and connect. But I really wanted a space dedicated to work where I can make the magic, so to speak. And that's what this table is. This is where I make magic. To the sea. That the setup is okay. I am thinking I want to start to make more videos here. So that's one purpose. But again, the major purpose is a place that I feel like my daughter can sit across from me or my wife can sit across from me and we can work on things together as a family. And that has already been happening since this table's been in the room. And that makes me so happy because that is my desire. So this is a pretty fairly decent sized table. And uh, my wife recently had some things going on that she needed some spell work for. So that was one of the first things I was actually able to use this table for. And here's our candle. Let's get down to the bottom here. Um, I do have some cards under there as well, which I'm going to make a video about tarot and spell work as well here soon. But... So th this was really one of the first workings that I was able to do on this beautiful table here. And what I love most is just how cluttered and connected I feel to it already. So we have my favorite decks out here. Um, the first one is the Modern Witches Tarot, my all-time favorite, the Golden Girls Tarot. Uh, we have the Shadow Edition Lumen, I think. Um, and then another deck that I use specifically for spell work. This is the Crow Tarot. Love, love, love this deck. So I just thought I would show you what's on the table and just introduce it to you guys. So I guess I'll start over here. I have my Illuminated Bible, which a lot of people have been asking about on Instagram. I don't even think I've talked about this really on my YouTube channel. Um, this is the spell book that I go to the most. If you guys want a video on that, I will do a video on that. Um, kind of generally going over that and how I use the Bible in my craft. We have my grimoire here, which I'm not going to open. And then just some oils. And calendula. We have some garlic. Um, for the first time ever, I used um, sprinkles in, in my spell work. Worked phenomenally this wow love 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 we have some nutmeg and some other stuff i did use the last of my basil leaves so bay leaves sorry so i gotta get that filled back up i have my working candle going you know this is really just a place where i like to connect and think okay what recipes am i going to use how am i going to craft this spell this is really a place where i feel like the work happens where you know a chef preps for their food, for the entree. This is where I prep. This is my prep table to put everything together to put on the altar. And this just feels like such a good space already. Over here, I have some crystals, some selenite. I have a palm stone here. I started uh, doing some meditations in the morning that I've added to my daily practice, which have really helped me uh, stay connected. So that's really been wonderful. Over here we have some Starnies, which I just started working with recently. 
love that. Got some Florida water. I go through this stuff insane, insane amounts. I love this stuff. And then I know I just recently did a book review, but I always refer to different books when I'm trying to craft a spell to kind of bring me inspiration or show me where I'm leading to going. So I talked about this book already, the book of Candle Magic. Wonderful. I use that. I also referred to the Voodoo and Hoodoo spell book. And then as far as what psalms I wanted to use, this was a suggestion um, from, I think, Gemini Grey Wolf. And I had forgotten I had already purchased this book. And this is by Taryn S. She's a YouTuber here, um, House of Witchcraft, Hoodoo and the Psalms. So I did refer to this as far as what psalm I wanted to use. And there were some really good ideas in here. If you are looking to use the Bible in your craft, this is a really good book. I'm new to this, so this has really been a good introduction for me. And that's kind of just my witch's table. This really hasn't been an extensive video, but you know, sometimes when you add something so monumental to your witchy room, you just want to share it. And I just wanted to share this. You know, through the years, my craft has changed so much. And this is the first time that it's kind of permeating other areas of my life. It's not just so singularly me. It's starting to touch my family and my daughter is showing interest in my wife. And to be able to have this kind of space that just feels open and welcoming to them in a place where we can hang out as a family and make art or craft spells together, it's, it's changing the way I think about magic because it's becoming family oriented in a way that I really never thought it would. And, you know, there was always this thing about growing up and eating around the dinner table, like we're going to eat around the dinner table so that we all stay connected. And it's kind of that same vibe. This table has connected us in different ways and opened conversations just by being able to sit across from one another in this magical space. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. I also, again... If you have any ideas for what we can call this space, I would love to hear those. And do you have a round table, a prep area that you do your, for your spellcraft? Like, as you guys know, I always did everything right at the altar, prepared everything, set everything, everything was on the altar. But I really like to have this, this other space and it truly is a blessing and an honor and not everybody has this capability and I didn't really until recently either. And it's just, it's really changed the dynamic of my practice completely. So thank you guys so much for listening and until next time, bye guys.